We're here today in the ITU TV studio with Stefano Ruffini, who's uh, from Ericsson and he's an ITU expert in uh, synchronization. Welcome, Stefano. Thank you. So the obvious first question is, what is synchronization? Yes, synchronization means, uh, let's say, distribute the same uh, notion of time or uh, frequency to different nodes in the network. So that's something that is really important uh, in telecom. It's, uh, it's a basic uh, fundamental function to allow network to properly work. Uh, and I understand that the, the story is that synchronization up until now has been ignored in the development of the internet, which sounds extraordinary. Can, can you give, give us some background on that story? Yes, it, it's, a, it's a quite interesting story. Uh, what has happened is that normally telecom networks uh, used to be synchronized, let's say, on the fundamental of the physical layer. And that was required to, to allow networks to distribute data without losing data on the path. Uh, and what has happened is that when mobile technologies have been deployed, uh, essentially they relied on uh, a good uh, synchronization from the physical layer to, to build, uh, to deliver uh, the radio interface uh, with accurate uh, signals. So when the, the network has been uh, uh, moved from uh, TDM to, to packet, uh, what has happened is that the packet network was uh, inherently asynchronous. I mean, packet technologies does not need uh, uh, a, a synchronous operation. All the ro routers or uh, Ethernet switches can, uh, can exchange data without any accurate synchronization. So what has happened is that the, the radio base station remain without synchronization. And uh, that's why uh, most of the work uh, has started in ITT a few years ago to define some technologies to allow the distribution of uh, accurate frequency uh, synchronization towards base stations. So, so it's really synchronization in, in, in mobile that's a driving force for the work right now. It's not so much related to, uh, let's say, VOIP, uh, but it's related to uh, mobile and mobile base stations. Indeed, the mobile is uh, the main, I would say, the main client of the work we are currently doing. And I shall add that recently, in addition to have an accurate frequency synchronization to be distributed to the radio base stations, uh, there is also a need uh, in, uh, in several cases to distribute an accurate uh, time or an accurate phase, which means that the, the same time uh, knowledge uh, uh, has to be delivered to the radio base stations distributed in the network. And that's for various reasons, uh, uh, for instance, to support uh, time division duplex mm -hmm. uh, technologies uh, to avoid interferences uh, between the, the radio base stations, but also in the new LTE standards, LTE advance, uh, there are new features that rely on uh, base stations that have the same knowledge of time uh, when they deliver time, deliver the, the signal uh, towards the, the mobile uh, equipment. And w why, why do we need standards here? Yeah, oh, uh, that's a good question. So of course, uh, um, it's important to allow uh, in building the network that solutions from different vendors, uh, let's say you have a have an inter in interworking uh, possibility that can interoperate uh, and operators can build the network uh, uh, with solutions from different vendors. And one key point is that uh, in the past uh, to distribute an accurate time, uh, for instance, to radio base stations, a very common solution was to have a GPS receiver from the satellite receiving the signals. What's happening now is that uh, in many cases this is not possible or, or at least it's not sufficient. You can imagine if you have a uh, peak of base stations in, uh, in an underground or in a uh, uh, shopping mall. Uh, so that, that's not feasible to have a uh, visibility of the sky to receive the GPS signal. Mm -hmm. So there is an increased need uh, to deliver a time reference from the network to the base stations. And, and this is a much more challenging task uh, than uh, in the past was to deliver frequency. So it's, it's really a, a difficult task, but uh, it's, it's where uh, in ITT many people are really contributing to, to provide solutions for that. Yes, I, I've seen that a number of people, that the, the number of contributions is going up. Well, this, is, this is fascinating work. Thank you very, very much for joining us this, uh, today, Stefano. Thank you. Thank you.